when I say Rastafarianism, what do you guys think? Some things that are commonly associated with the religion are weed and reggae. And while they are big parts of the religion, it's so much more than that. Rastafarianism is a, a religion that is deeply rooted in the strive to overcome oppression. And it all started in Africa. In the late 1800s, with the colonization of Africa, specifically Ethiopia, the colonizers took the groups of indigenous people and sent them around the world into slavery. The slaves made it their life goal to get back to the homeland, which they called Zion, or Ethiopia, which is also known as heaven on earth, and get out of Babylon, which is hell on earth, which is where they were sent to, into slavery. This was also the time where the tradition of smoking weed uh, came around, and it was to ease the pain of slavery mentally and physically. So we flash forward to 1920s to a man named Marcus Garvey. Garvey was a political leader <coughs> whose main goal was to bring slaves back to the homeland. Garvey had a prophecy that went, look to Africa where a black king shall be crowned. He shall be your redeemer. <coughs> Garvey's prophecy does come true with Emperor Haile Selassie I of Ethiopia. Selassie becomes Ja Rastafari, or the Black Messiah, to the, the citizens of Jamaica and the followers of Rastafarianism. At this point, Rastafarianism is just a political movement. In the 1930s, Rastafarianism becomes more of a religion. And it starts with the Nyabingi sect, which is the Orthodox sect. There are two other sects that also uh, become formed, the Bobo Shanti, or the Bobo Dreads, uh, and then the 12 tribes of Israel. They all have certain slight differences between them, but the one commonality that they all share is that they see Selassie as the incarnation of Jah. Selassie visits Jamaica in the 1950s, and upon his arrival, he was really surprised to see that the, the citizens considered him a deity. While he was... He was... Uh, he was flattered he never really bought into the position that they saw him as, being a devout Christian himself. Selassie was removed from power of Ethiopia in the 1960s by military force, and he died mysteriously a year later. It was also at this time that reggae was birthed, and it eventually became the cultural icon of Rastafarianism that it is today, as forever immortalized by artists such as Bob Marley and Peter Tosh.